Hello everyone, this is Lokohol, and in this video I'm going to be speaking about crafting cluster jewels in Path of Exile. A lot of you might be doing this incorrectly. You might be doing Alt Org Regal a lot of the time when you shouldn't, because in fact, most of the time, except in some very specific circumstances, using fossils is going to be vastly superior to Alt Org Regal. This is going to be true if you are more flexible. Let's say there are three notables that you want out of a pool of six. Any of those six are fine, but you want three, then using fossils is going to be superior. If you want very, very specific mods, in some cases, Alt Org Regal will be a better method. In this video, I'm going to speak about that, show you some examples, and then I'm going to craft a couple of jewels just to show you how simple it can be to get some really juicy three passive notable cluster jewels. Let's hop over to Craft of Exile and have a look at some examples. So let's start off. You have a large cluster jewel with the physical damage enchant and you want three of any of these six modifiers. So you could say, I'm going to do Alt Org Regal. Well, you're going to spend a hell of a lot more money. It's going to take you a lot longer. You're going to end up spending many exalts. This is about, I don't know, 25, 20x or something like that. However, using a single Jagged Fossil makes this a lot easier. You can see in 20 tries, you should get at least three of these and it'll cost you about 71 chaos. So if you're an SSF player or someone who likes crafting their own gear, you can see using a Jagged Fossil in this instance would be far superior to the Alt Org Regal method. Let's have a look at another example. Minion Jewel Clusters are very popular this league, especially the Renewal and the Primordial Bond notables. You can see over here, just using a simple pristine fossil, you'll hit it in about 29 tries. However, if you use Alt Org Regal, <gasps> oh no. It's going to take over 1,100 tries and you're going to spend about four times as much money. So again, using a simple pristine fossil in this case should be better. Now I want to show you an example where using fossils is not optimal because this is important. So let's have a look at this jewel. This jewel has brush with death and flow of life and it costs eight exalted orbs. And you might be thinking, this doesn't look too hard to get. It's just two notables. Why does it cost eight X? Well, the reason is that in this case, these two notables have clashing tags. You can see this brush with death has life and defenses and flow of life has life. Now, if you know anything about fossils, the pristine fossil, which you would kind of expect to use because both have the life tag. This gives us more life modifiers, but it completely blocks any defense modifiers. So you can see just by using a pristine fossil, this cannot roll. So it's not going to be easy to craft this using just simple fossils. So when you do a cost efficiency calculation, it's going to show you frigid is the best option which I think is just a kind of it's bugging out or it's just saying using fossils in this case is not good because frigid fossil says more cold modifiers, no fire modifiers. Neither of these have the cold tag. So it's basically saying just chaos spam it. In this instance, using alt org regal might be a better idea. You can see this costs about 9,100 chaos. By the way, if you're not familiar with this tool, I'm using craft of Excel right now. I'll put a link on screen. You can click that. I have a tutorial on how to use it. This is a very, very important tool for crafting in Path of Exile. So if you're not familiar with it, check out that video and get to know it because this will save you money. Now, something I want to add, and I hate to do this, but if you're playing Trade League, often buying a cluster jewel with the notables that you want is going to be preferable to trying to craft it yourself. Of course, if you do it yourself, you can get lucky and hit something completely nuts and make a ton of money, but let's have a look here. So a large cluster jewel with eight passives and 
the enchant minions deal 10% increased damage, costs about 2.2x on its own. Let's say you also want primordial bond and renewal, and we know that this should cost about 115 chaos to create, which is about 0.7x or so. You can see you can get something with feasting fiends, primordial bond and renewal for 2.9x. Here it's about 3x. Here you're getting three passives for 3x. Crafting this with fossils would probably cost a lot. I actually think this is slightly underpriced because it's got a nice added small passives. But if you check this out on Craft of XL, you're going to see that it's going to cost a fair amount more. So it's not always going to be profitable to buy one of these and then craft it. But if you want to do it yourself, if you're playing SSF, then using fossils is going to be optimal. So I don't want to forget about small cluster jewels. In many cases, I think using alterations in this case is going to be better, but let's have a look. Let's say I want Fettel. This is a very nice notable on life-based small cluster jewels. Using Alt or Regal would cost you about 263 chaos, about, that's about an X and a half. Just using Alt Augment is about 121 chaos, so this is less than an X. How about if we use fossils? Let's see what that would cost. So this is 121 chaos. I assume using a pristine is gonna be the best. Yeah, you can see here, even using pristine fossils, it's gonna take 69 attempts and it's gonna cost about 349 chaos. So in this case, using Alt Org Regal is probably gonna be better in most cases when trying to hit specific notables on small cluster jewels. However, when it comes to large and medium cluster jewels, in a lot of cases, using fossils is going to be superior. So let's hop in game and see if we can change this into something more valuable. So as I showed you, this base is worth about 2.3x on its own. But if we hit two or three notables, then it jumps up to at least 3x. So maybe we can make 0.7x profit I'm just using a pristine fossil, which is about two chaos, and a primitive chaotic resonator, which is about half a chaos. So each hit is gonna be about two and a half chaos. Nothing there. There you can see we hit renewal and feasting fiends. This might be worth a little bit, but let's see if we can get more than that. So already on my third attempt, I hit primordial bond and renewal. These are two very popular Notables together, I could pretty much immediately sell this for 3x. And it also has the max life passive. Even though that is a fairly low roll, it's still going to be worth it. So, I mean, in this case, this would be profitable. Maybe this is something you want to do to try and make profit. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but it's a way to do it. Doing this with Alt Regal would have taken ages and probably been very expensive and very frustrating. I'm going to keep rolling this. Maybe we can get a three passive. Call to the Slaughter, Feasting Fiends. This one is not worth much. It's worth about the same as the cluster on its own. Feasting Fiends. Feasting Fiends Renewal. Ooh, okay. Call to the Slaughter, Feasting Fiends Renewal. Let's price check this one. Well, it's worth about, <laughs> it's worth about the same as the base. What I think this is telling us is that the community has cottoned on to the fact that using fossils to make something like this is actually very simple. I hope that this sort of demonstrated it. Let me show you another one, I suppose, while we are here. So this is another three passive one. If you just do this with jagged fossils, you tend to get three passives pretty quickly. Now this base is worth about two chaos on its own and getting three notables is pretty easy a lot of the time just using jagged fossils. So maybe you can use this method to turn some profit, especially if you get a nice added small passive skills also grant something like attack speed and cost speed, that's decent. Or life, that'd be worth a lot more. 
Well, that is going to be it for this video, folks. If you liked it, a like and subscribe are appreciated. You can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash locahole if you want to watch me live. And if you have any other suggestions, if you feel like I missed something, or if you want to teach me something, please leave a comment below and let us know some tricks or information that you feel might be useful. That's going to be it. Thank you for watching, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and have a wonderful day. Raunching exile, you're making me nervous!